Hi. Welcome to the start of a, I don't know why I'm sitting so far from you. I don't to the know start why. of a new cycle. So this new cycle is going to be dedicated again to YouTubers, but to YouTubers who uh, their primary they're not mukbangers. Like they cook or they have recipes on their channel, but their primary function is a mukbang. Some of them in the series have done mukbangs. Like on my main channel, for instance, I've done mukbangs, but a lot of my main channel is dedicated to recipes or also lifestyle. Yeah, exactly, and topic videos. So, um, yes, yeah, so the first one, but this one is kind of a, I guess it's kind of a trick, right? Because the first one is actually dedicated to someone who does, has done quite a bit of mukbangs on her channel. I actually know her personally, too. Um, there are a few people who I've actually, like, met in real life, and I know them in real life, and that is so cool. And so it's My Full Figured Life, and her name's Ashley. She's amazing. She's a caterer. And her most viewed videos, I actually checked just in case. So, like, I think her second or third most popular video is a mukbang video she did. <laughs> But almost all the other ones are like um, catering, um, recipes. Her most popular one currently is the Cajun chicken and shrimp, and I've tried that. So good. Um, and she's just, she's so amazing. So she actually did um, this huge chief of blood that she does for a lot of clients. And I kind of made it my own. And she just <coughs> does this garlic lime uh, butter that everybody just is like dying over. They love it. It's so good. So there you go. Um, so ours, mine doesn't have meat in it. I didn't put like any, I didn't put sausage in mine, but this is what I put in the, in the pot. Um, I put Sazon Tropical, or Tropical. I put the Zatarain's Liquid Crab Boil. Uh, I put salted butter, minced garlic, Cajun seasoning, body of complete, lemon pepper, Creole seasoning. Um, yeah. So that's what I put in that. And then in the garlic butter, I'm checking now... And the garlic butter uses, the garlic lime butter uses garlic, lime, sazon tropical, um, the Cajun seasoning, Creole seasoning, and I already said lime, and butter, but it's garlic, yeah. So, what piece do you want? Oh, and I have snow crab, snow crab, crawfish, Jonah crab claws, these potatoes, you know I don't usually do potatoes, but I was like, hey, why not? Um, some florets, broccoli florets, and shrimp. Right. Yeah, that's everything. I'm just really excited about these okay. potatoes. Okay, get we the potato. both what agree. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go for this one because this one is just staring me down. Yeah. Okay. And we just have oh, I actually make this um, I see Kool Aid mix that I love. I gotta taste them. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. It is very nice. So. You like the potato? Mm hmm You want to dip it in the I butter? I also like potatoes, so. You want to dip it in the... I think we're going to put... So the butter's here. We're just going to move this up a little bit. Oh, you can't see my agua. So. And then she got water. So we're just going to do dip the potato because we don't want it to be too dirty all over the table. And we chose to use the black table this time because you wouldn't be able to see this on the white table. We tried it. It didn't work. So in this pot, my mother actually got me from Jungbu. I've talked about it quite a few times. I will be doing a mukbang with some stuff from there. My mother doesn't know what these are. I've used Jenna Crab Claws before. I got them from a different place, so I actually... We went to... Oh, so... Oh, wait. Thank you for the napkin. I didn't even know that. <laughs> we actually went to... um, Because I didn't know there were any Super Walmarts in the city of Chicago. There's one on... I think it's North Ave and Kilpatrick. Um, that's the bus stop, anyway. <laughs> it's usually the North Avenue bus. And so... We, you like the sauce? And you know what's interesting? You don't like lemon on our seafood? Mm-mm, not at all. Um, only time I ever put lemon on my seafood is when it's like fresh, super hot, um, <laughs> that's gonna be loud, calamari. My sister doesn't eat calamari. Um, so, but this is interesting. It's a very different flavor. Oh, are you kidding me? I can't. <laughs> oh, anyway. So yeah, so this is an interesting flavor. I tasted some of it. Um, I tasted like some of it to make sure, well you did too, to make sure it was, you know, like to our seasoning. That was just amazing. Mm -hmm. And the great thing about the lime is, the lime is not overpowering. It just adds that zing, it adds a zing. Do you want to move this closer? See, they're twins, not, they're sisters, not twins, there we go. No, 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 they are twins, just they fraternal, are twins. not identical. Yeah, because this one's super shiny. 
and I'm not hoping on you. So man, my mom got these for me a little while ago. Is this your first time using it? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I was going to use it because I made some kimchi. Like super traditional kimchi. Um, I got all the stuff I needed from Jumbu. And um, I thought I was going to need to use this, these bowls. But I actually did not need to use these bowls because it wasn't the hugest batch. I was able to give some to a friend though. I fermented it for three, I think it was three days and it was good. Because it was slightly warm. It was a slightly warm October. You're going to probably hear that noise a lot, y'all. Um, it was a slightly warm October. You know, I wonder if putting paper down would deaden the noise. Oh, yeah. Science, bitches. Oh, science. My best friend. There we go. Um, it won't deaden this noise here and the noise you hear off reverberating off me. But oh, should I Who made you think of it? Hmm? That the tissue would deaden the noise? I just knew I needed something to absorb the noise, and I just thought that's the closest thing. I don't have to get up. Okay. So let me tell you how I cooked this because the snow crab, the Jonah crab claws, and the crawfish were um, frozen. And what I did was I um, heated, I cooked, I put all the ingredients, all the seasonings, including the butter, in the broth. And then I um, let come to a boil. Then I added the potatoes and the snow crab legs. Waited ten minutes. Then I added the Jonah crab claws and the um, and the crawfish. And then I waited um, another ten minutes. And then I added the um, shrimp, which was defrosted. The shrimp were not raw because those would cook funny. The shrimp and the broccoli. And then I let that cook for 10 minutes, and then I let it sit for, what, like 20, 30 minutes? Yeah, 20, 30 minutes. Mm. And then I used a spider to scoop it all out. I have not had a potato yet. Wow. It's still, like, really firm, even though it's been in there for a while. But it's still soft enough to, like, where it's not like, oh my gosh, super firm. Mm-hmm. I need the crab cracker. I didn't do that. Mm-hmm. Here you go. Coffee. I think I want to put another piece of seafood though. So, this was four and a half pounds of snow crab legs, two pounds of Jonah crab claws, two pounds of um crawfish. There is meat in here. I had, I was like, why do I have a strong feeling? I'm like, that was, I, when I heard the thump, I was like, oh no. So, um, what was I going to say? Um, and, and then three pounds of shrimp. So it's, uh, 11 and a half pounds of seafood. And then probably like two pounds of potatoes and a pound of broccoli. Because I have a two pound bag I got from Sam's. I got the broccoli from Sam's too, so... Sam sells different, like, little tiny potatoes. Thankfully, the ones I got were from the Little Potato Company, which is a really great company. Someone got some from a different company, and when they were not happy with it. You okay? Oh, Ooh. yeah. Let me grab, um, grab that so I can put it in, in here. And I know, also, Ashley, um, <coughs> usually what she does with hers is she pours the sauce over. We just chose not to do it. Well, I can move that over. Hey, I'm sassy. What's wrong with this shell? I feel like there's so many Jonah Crab Claws, even though there aren't that many. There just there are. feels like there are a lot, but I think it's just because a lot of them were at the top. Or, mm, sorry, they were at the bottom. Because I, I layered everything, so everything on the bottom kind of floated to the top. Broccoli's good. Yeah. And I was like, my mother was like, you can't do the broccoli for just 10 minutes. And I was like, yeah, the broccoli. Oh. And just a florette, though. Know. So don't worry. Um, I'm trying to do more vegetables in my seafood boils, but I don't always want vegetables in my seafood boil, you know? Mm -hmm. 
like when I did the seafood mountain, um, seafood mountain range, I guess I called it. Oh, man, I wish I made that geechi sauce. That was good too. Um, but when I made that seafood mountain range, like I have no vegetables. I don't care. Wow, I have vegetables. You were not playing with that seafood mountain. I wish you could have been there because I think you were there for that next video, right? I don't know. Yeah, because that was the last video on one cycle. It you was. Were there. Mm -hmm. It was so hot in that video. It's warm now, too, funny enough, because y'all know I film. It's like, oh. So today we're filming on Christmas. And while I eat and indulge even more than usual, you want to follow what we did? Okay, so this is the fun stuff. So we woke up this morning. Um, I woke up earlier than usual, which I was okay. I usually have to wake up to use the bathroom, so that happened. Woke up. She made breakfast. We had Belgian waffles, turkey bacon, scrambled eggs. Those waffles are good. Yeah, delicious. I actually got that recipe six years ago. I think it's six years ago. Yeah. So, we and I, first time is first time making it was today. And we uh <coughs> we ate after we ate. She took a nap. I did. Isis was upset. I wanted to hang out. Deep in her feelings, I was tired. And I was tired too. Tired of the fact that we couldn't hang out. So I went to sleep for an hour, y'all. Just so we are clear, I was, I went to sleep from like, what, 2.30 to 3.30? So I just called some family members, which is a Merry Christmas, um, and she woke up. We hung out for a little bit. We chill. Um, <laughs> this is where the fun part comes in. So the previous night, we made a gingerbread train. Mm -hmm. So every year we make a gingerbread something. Last year we did a village, and she wasn't here for Christmas. We did it for Thanksgiving. Um, so, my mom hadn't booked the tickets for Christmas yet, or for Christmas break yet, um, because we weren't sure when she'd be here, we were at the save a lot, she saw it, she was like, oh, I really want this, so I was like, okay. And see, we did it like the night before you left. That's true, we really did. So oh. this year she saw a train at Walmart. Oh, I was like, hey. Can we? And she was looking like, no, because this the gingerbread is gross. <laughs> it is. I don't know what what's up with this company. It's disgusting. I'm from the same company. Mm-hmm. It was gross again. But I was like, hey, let's do it. So we did that uh, last night. Mm -hmm. It was uh something. Yeah, it's a Christmas music. Yeah, it is a Christmas year. And then today, on Christmas Day, I was like, hey, you know what we should do? Because I had this idea. Let's take Christmas photos. Yeah, so when we had gone shopping at Forever 21 and we were waiting online, she saw this, like, I guess, yeah, Mrs. Claus, because it was just um, Mrs. Claus, like, outfit thing. And she was like, let's get it. And I was, of course, like, nah. But she was like, oh, um, I was like, you know what? If it's in a 3X, it means it's meant to be for me to get it. Because um, Forever 21 is closing. It's on. And they're selling the fixtures in the store, boy. So... It was one dress near the register, her size. Mm-hmm. And, and it wasn't like a <clears throat> return either. Like it had the original tags, everything on it. No, it, it was like, clean, no issues. Like, oh, we like the Kool Aid man. I said, oh yeah. So um, it was a good price because it was thirty dollars and sixty percent off that, right? Mm-hmm. So it was twelve. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm so happy. Um. And we were on Dollar Tree the same day. And, oh, hey, Reggie. There was, um... It was, had, it was a different day we went to Dollar Tree. It was? Yeah. Because we were, we were coming back from, um... So, like, oh, okay. So, it was, like, the We were coming back then? from Walmart. Yeah. Okay, soon after. We yeah. went to Dollar Tree. And we saw these balloons. And balloons that you can inflate yourself. And they had different types. So, there was one that said Mary and another that said Christmas. So, we got a red Mary sign and a green Christmas sign. Blew those up. You know, here, set everything up. She has a little Christmas tree. Uh, also from Dollar Tree. With lights, also from Dollar Tree. Those lights light up. 
They were a necklace, and I kept them on overnight by mistake, so they don't light up anymore. Anyway, not the point. The real point of this is that... We got to start from Michael's. We did. We got no, a little... Clearance. It was a clearance uh, charm from Michael. Um, it was like a pendant necklace. charm right? piece came off, yeah, so the star fell. But that's not the point. The point is we had a star on our tree, even for a minute, and it was really cute. Mm-hmm. I was really happy with that. <clears throat> So we have the signs up, they're still up. You have the Mary balloon, the Christmas balloon. You have the tree. And we sat in the corner. And she wore her dress. I was wearing a red sweater. Because and what else? When I came, I had the red sweater. I wasn't done. Uh, and then there were some elf ears that had bells on it and a hat that she was going to put on the cats. But put on me a sec. This is the fun part. We were taking Christmas photos with the cats, and oh my god, it was a horror scene. It was an absolute. It was good. I scratched the shit out of my leg. Reggie's gonna bite me. Actually, no, Reggie did bite me. Thankfully, he wasn't biting too hard. Yeah, he wasn't like mean biting. He was like, get he away was, from like, me. Biting. Yeah, like, I'm afraid biting. I don't know what's going on. And then at the same time, his I'm afraid biting is he'll bite the hell out of you. Yeah, he has bitten the hell out of me by mistake once. Like, we were playing real rough, and he bit me so hard my hand swelled up. I don't know. Am I gonna have to go to the doctor? What does my insurance look like? A joke is what it looks like, by the way. This is actually in Ohio, but, so, yeah. My insurance here is better. But, it's okay. Because, in the day, we got the photos. Mm-hmm. We did, we did, we did. And then we said goodbye. Tell the cat, do whatever you want. Then they wanted to play. I was like, okay, bye. <laughs> Wait, didn't we do the video games before? I was about to no? say, we played on the Xbox. No, we played yeah. after on the Xbox. Right? That was after? No, that was before. I kept... It's fine. It doesn't matter. I was mm, Yeah. Because that's where we played on the Xbox. Um, Ooh. It was... Um, that was an adventure. Because mm-hmm. turns out only one controller worked. Because we only have one adapter for it. Can you adjust that? Because I think it's about to fall. Is it hard out like that? It should be fine. But I can adjust it if you want. If it falls, we'll pick it up and I'll just edit the video. So, that happened. Um, we were playing a video game. What game was it? Dead or Alive We played Dead or Alive 3 on the we original Xbox. What? Original Xbox I had. I got it in high school. I went from high school. Went to high school from 2002 to 2006. Yes. You got our ass up because you didn't know what we were doing. I and one of the controllers wasn't that great. And like... I was trying, and I was like, okay, I'm not going to stop until I give up. After the third time, I said I give up. Yeah, so then what do we play? Then we, I have this thing called Atari Flashback. I have a bunch of Atari games on it, built into it. Um, and I just played Adventure. It sucked. Then we played Air Force. Not Air Force, no. Then we played Asteroids. Then we played um, Air, Air and Sea or something like that. Mm-hmm. And did you wind up playing that cafeteria game or no? That no, there was another game we were gonna play, and then I said goodbye, and I left it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Um, no, then I made food, and she made uh, these really cute uh, snowman cookies. I was gonna. I decided let me not bring them here. The whole point of this is food. Also, it'll be coming out in July. Who cares about that? We're talking about Christmas. Christmas in July. Oh yeah, I forgot the whole thing. I celebrate Christmas all year round, so. She knows this, right? Mm-hmm. Christmas is her favorite season. Or holiday. Mine is Halloween. So every everybody and their mother on, on my all, all my cat pages, they dress up all their cats in sweaters. I didn't need my cat sweaters for next year. They need sweaters. Um, No, they don't, because they didn't even want to be in the photo. They had them in sweaters. They got them really great gifts. I So what I do is we do Halloween gifts. So they get gifts for Halloween um, and their birthdays. So, wait, why do you give them gifts for Halloween? I knew because Halloween is just my thing. I knew it. It's my jam. Spooky season. <laughs> so, am I getting a gift on Halloween? Are you a cat? Yeah. Anyway, you Probably. got Christmas gifts. I, I knew she was there. Oh, do you want to talk about the Christmas gifts? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You want to go first? You want me to go first? You go first. Okay, so <laughs> my sister got me a whole bunch of shit. So she got me this. Oh wait, um, I thought we were gonna talk about what we got for each other. Oh, oh no, that works. That works much better. <laughs> so 
Um, I just was picking up stuff I thought she'd like. So there's a YouTuber I absolutely love, Sparkling Penny Pincher. Um, and she makes custom glitter mixes. So I actually um ordered um two of these. Yeah, two of these. So she made a collection, beautiful collection, and she had a whole bunch of. She had twenty six um mm. yeah, glitter good. mixes that she made. Mm, great. 26 glitter mixes that she made. Um, I've been ordering from her for years. She actually just she actually was gone for about a year from YouTube. And I just I think about her all the time. We're actually friends on Facebook now. We're actually friends on Facebook now. Um I think the custom glitter community is one of my favorite communities to ever exist. Mm -hmm. Absolutely no drama. I've never seen drama from it. But anyway, um got her that. And then she when we were at Aldi's last time, she wanted these um insulated i'll move this she wanted these insulated um bags to carry like frozen stuff in okay. and yeah. um so i got her two of those and um then i've been starting to make press on nails so um i have a uh playlist on my main channel which is just my first name um that is uh called newbie nails and i made her three sets so far um, I made her a prompt. She gave me a prompt and I made a set based on you. Want a little help? I got it. I got it. You want to just. You want to just. You want to just hand it. it to me? You just want to hand it to I me? I got okay. it. So. what I tell you? So. There's a show we both like called Totally Spy. So I actually made one inspired by the show. A pair of nails inspired <coughs> by the show. I made a pair of nails <coughs> for her birthday, which is like, she doesn't know what the thing, the thing is yet, but the nails are a hint. I mean, by the time this video comes out, I'll definitely know. Yeah, exactly. She'll know by then. <laughs> oh, did I just get food in my hair? It just popped back. Possibly. Anyway, too. Um, and then I made her a third set, which is for New Year's, and we have a matching set. So I made me a set and her a set. So we have the exact same design, black from colors. They're gorgeous too. Mm -hmm. They're definitely my favorite. I don't think these are beautiful. Yeah. And I'm proud of her. She's improving so quickly, so well. She's saying that. I, I, I don't, I feel like, you know what I think my issue is that I'm looking at people who've been doing this for years. Yeah, the, the, the problem is she's trying to make comparisons. If we make comparisons, I compare it to how I was doing. Literally all I was doing was just, hey, let me paint the goddamn nail. Yeah. Not when they do designs on there or anything. Yeah. But she's doing really well. Especially because she's watching so many videos. And I don't care what she says. Okay, thank you. My very aggressive cheerleader. Thank you. <laughs> um, but am I but your yes. best cheerleader? Yes. 100%. Actually, I think I've talked about that on this channel or on my other channel. Like, almost every endeavor I've had where I'm not sure about, she's always like, yep, do it. My vlogs. She's like, yep, do it. Mukbang, same. Yeah, I um, talked about it. I'm just glad you're saying it again. I can't um <laughs> so yeah so then i got her that i got her um the nails i got her this planner and what did it say on it it was just really nice i loved it i would pick it up it's like not too far but there's good all of my hands. um and it's a planner i was like walking around really and nice i saw song. this planner and i was like oh my god it just spoke to me and i was like oh my god i just would really like this so. i do like it and i'm definitely gonna use a planner yeah i love planners i have a planner i use my phone and i use a physical like a uh, planner because they reinforce one another um and yeah, so got her that. I'm trying to get a what ice. Oh, mm -hmm. um, it's in there. Hmm. Pan. Huh? Mm. So oh, what, what, she um, but she could make uh dry fruit. Oh yeah, yeah. I dehydrate fruit. Mm -hmm. I've been doing more home study stuff since I moved out of my own house in um. Excuse me. Since I moved out of my own house in um, 2015, so I've made bread, I've made cheese, uh, wine. Um, don't ask me about the wine. I don't want to talk about it. Wine, no, no, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> and what? And then um, and also I've been dehydrating fruit. So I had a dehydrator, just a regular one that didn't have a timer on it from Aldi. You'll get it later. But the cat. Where did I be anyway? I don't know, but watch her be under the table next time I look. <laughs> um. So. Uh, I initially dehydrated, one of the first things I dehydrated was strawberries uh, way back then when I first started. I loved them too. And I had sent her some as like a gift because the mason jar is heavy. <laughs> okay, mason jars are not light to ship. So and she absolutely just went crazy over it. I never got my mason jar back. Um, 
ever. Um, I count my mason jars every day, and I think. Oh, then what about those spoons from the house? You mean the forks I stole? Those are my forks. I mean, well, okay. My forks. Come get them. I mean, you know exactly. You know, it's funny when mom came, actually hid them, just in case there was gonna be a problem. My forks. Anyway, not the point. I'm gonna try this crock. So, (laughs) I'm dehydrated. Did you try it? Right. You gotta hit the Chelsea sauce. I'm trying, man. Because I've so, tried crawfish once before, and I didn't like it. Mm. Is, I feel like that, not even feel like But the other thing is also it's like fresh water, so we're not used to fresh water things like that. Like we don't eat catfish um, or flounder or things like that. that. I don't. I don't like fresh water um, fish. I tried trout. I've had trout, and I've, I've, done, I've, I've done what I could with it, and it was uh, great. Great. Um, but yeah, so back to, uh, yeah, so I dehydrated the strawberries, but I was in Sam's and I saw, while I was looking at strawberries, I saw raspberries and I thought to myself, what a wonderful one. yes, but also how do they dehydrate? Like, do they like kind of like shrink up? Do they just like, are they crisp? So I said, you know what? I'll never know until I try. So I tried. <laughs> And they took, those took 36 hours. They take a while. Like, I've actually written, um, because they give you, like, a little guide to go by in the book for, um, a little booklet they give you from Aldi. Because now I have a digital one where you can set the time and the temperature. Cool. And I had to keep the cats out of the back room for, like, days. Almost a week. Because the raspberries took 36 hours. And the, um... Strawberries took, I think, 8 or 12 hours. I can't remember. Yeah, they usually take 8 to 12. And they were just like, so mad. Yeah. The room smelled amazing, though. I mean, because it was... I forgot even when I ma- started making them, but it was like summer all over again in the house. <laughs> That's cute. Um, so, I mean, I hope to dehydrate more fruit. Some people, what they do when they dehydrate fruit... I do mine very simply. I wash them. And then if I'm cutting them, I cut them, and then I put them in a dehydrator. What some people do is they'll sugar them, or they'll add other things I don't tend to. Um, and then I have, like, a oxygen absorber that I put in there so that they keep. I generally don't have this. Um, I've been very lucky um, in that endeavor. I'm very happy. You don't know how hype I was when I saw those raspberries. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she liked them. And you know it's funny because some didn't fit in there. So I actually had some with, I think it was cereal I was eating. Oh, that sounds good. Did you add all of it? It was good. Mm-hmm. I did all that. It was, um, I think the honey bun to almond. Mm, of course it was. That sounds like it would pair well together. It was good. It had a lot of, like, it was really complex. It was good. We still have them if you want. We get them together. Probably the frosted flakes. Yeah, maybe, yeah. But, but, but those, those are mostly for you. Those are for too. you to, like... I know, but I'm gonna share it with my sister. Why not? Okay, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying like... too. They're right here. Okay, so I think that was everything I got you, right? Yeah, and sweatpants that she. Oh uh, well, those are yeah, those aren't a gift though. There's a place by our by where I live. I love that place. You take, I mean, not right by her. Like you gotta take the bus, but it's great. I uh-huh. like discounted clothing. So, are you want to tell them what you got me? Well, I actually got the same thing with her. Every time I saw something I just thought she liked, I got it mm-hmm. a lot. Uh, so, um, I sent everything except the one thing that wasn't sent was a card. So, I got her a Christmas card, and she liked it. I'm glad mom mm-hmm. liked it a lot. Oh, mom liked the card you got her? I'm talking about the card I got to you. Oh, I think I love liked that it. card. Oh, okay. Oh, you're saying mom liked the card you got me. Okay. I wasn't understanding for a second, y'all. So, I'm like, okay. I'm glad everyone likes this card. I don't know. A few different things that look really wowed. It looks like great minds think alike because I also got her a planner. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Her 2019 2020 cat calendar. Yeah, it's a cat. Calendar. And it's like a mini one so you can take it on the go. I was like, Oh my god. Should yeah, because I, I leave my, yes. my physical planner, I leave in my house all the time. 
So what I can do for that one is just like the things I have to do that day, just like jot them down and then I can just pull them out. Oh my God, you're really going to use it? Yeah. What do you think? I wasn't going to use it? I thought no, because you already had a planner. Yeah, but I have a planner for the house. Now I can have a planner in my bag. Oh yeah, I like this. Or when salad. someone tells me something, I can just write it in the planner and then when I get home, I can check it again. Because sometimes I'll put it on my phone, but I won't understand everything there's I'll be like, oh, let me drop jot some notes down but now I can actually fully write it out I had a really good deal on that planner like I remember when I was designing it and I checked out that's what I was putting the tam planner I was telling you I got a really good deal on mm. it was one penny oh my god from where it was from Dollar Tree oh wow oh, shit. but I was just because I like to go to Dollar Tree like just to look and browse around Love me but some I was Dollar like Tree. okay yeah I also got her this uh set so she likes to do adult coloring and also she likes painting she has um, her own like top of the shelf for painting and stuff and a few years back she took a trip to London mm -hmm. so in the paint set it has doves flying around and it's got like big bend in the corner and I said well uh, this is to remind you of your trip for when you went to London and it comes with the paint brushes the paint mm -hmm. it's come with nice quality canvas. paint too yes yeah, it, where did you get that I got a target oh mm. Oh, yeah, when I called you and you're like, oh, I'm in Target getting your gift. Was that what you, I don't know. I had seen it a few days prior that I said, let me wait a bit. That way it's like, if it's there when I have the money on me right now, it's meant to be. And it was, because that was the very last one. Mm -hmm. Well, there's another one, but that had paint on it already. Oh, like yeah. it had paint on the plat, no, on the canvas. I was like, I don't know how the hell they did that. I don't care how they did that. So, bought that. Um... Uh, Hmm. What else? What else? There was this. I remember like the palette. Uh, the little, the little thing too. The wooden one. And the alpaca. Is that an alpaca? I don't even know what we're talking about. The little wooden one to paint too. Oh yes, that was a cat. Oh. So <laughs> I also saw another painting one, and it had black, white, and purple, and those are some of her favorite colors. Mm -hmm. And it was a cat. Mm -hmm. And I said, "This is cute." So I just got it for her. That was literally it. And it's wood. And we had a set like that from before um that i painted and it's up there mm -hmm. <laughs> and i was gonna do the same thing i got that from target as well you we got a lot of good stuff at target mm -hmm. so i got um is there anything else i'm missing uh palette what else came with the palette mm -hmm. it was i don't even remember everything because i got a lot of stuff i got them at different times yeah like i started collecting this stuff back from october mm. So, yeah, same. I started getting your stuff like months. Because the thing is, I'll see stuff. That's another thing. That's another like, way you can get gifts for people who care about. Don't just do, get them during the Christmas season or holiday season. Think about all year round. Because there's some things I want to get. Like, dehydrating a fruit would have been much harder if I was trying to do it like a week before you came. But it's not gonna be that good, or it's not gonna be in season. So, for me, it was more like, let me just pick up things here and there. Jacob, would you know something funny that I found out? Strawberries are always in season. Yeah, you were telling me that. I thought it was really interesting because it was my second favorite fruit, as my first favorite fruit. It's not always in season. That pisses me off. What is that? Your first favorite fruit? Watermelon. Oh, that's very true. That pisses me oh, off. I dehydrated watermelon. I didn't like it. Hmm. We're gonna have to go. Wait, wait, wait. Now, let me talk but about before the we go. very last thing. Mm -hmm. um, so, ColourPop, if you guys um, don't know or if you're not really into makeup that much, ColourPop now has a series where they do sets um, and palettes with uh, different colors, like a monochromatic series. And there were a few that I like, so I, I bought a few and I love the quality of them, that's why I keep buying them. But there was this one called Smoke Show Palette, which is a black. And gray palette mm -hmm. just solely black and gray and I remember she could mention it one time she mentioned it one time to me and as soon as she mentioned it to me I was on the website buying it she's like yeah I really like this palette I don't know what it is speaking it's really speaking to me and as soon as she said that I was already clicking the checkout color pop was like thanks for your order <laughs> but she didn't know that and yeah funny story behind that because so my friend Julie um, when we were in high school she dressed up as the crow and she used this NYX 
I think it was called like for sexy eyes only monochromatic palette. And it was like black, white, and gray or something like that. And I loved it. I used it all the time. I think I might just have that, which we shouldn't get. No, you one. shouldn't. That's why I'm like, wait. It's fine. I haven't gotten sick. Um, and then I just they don't have, they don't make those palettes like that anymore. And then I saw that and I was like, that's amazing. But yeah, we do have to go. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody. Bye, bye. Mm -hmm.